All right, everybody, how are we doing today? Steve Mingleco here, going to be going over the most popular CMS platforms and what you should be uh, choosing for your website, depending on which type of business you have and what you're gonna need your functionality to be. So as you can kind of see here, I just highlighted the WordPress, Joomla, Drupal, and then we'll go into a couple of e-commerce such as Magento, Shopify, um, big commerce and similar things. So just starting off, why don't we take a look at WordPress? Now WordPress is the most popular uh, CMS platform out there. It's very popular with blogging because it was originally created as a blogging platform. However, these days it has turned into probably one of the most popular uh, CMS platforms out there. So I would say if you're building a new website in 2020, almost 90% of businesses, 80% of businesses are going to be using WordPress. And the popular reason that a lot of people are using WordPress is it has a lot of third party um, plugins and extensions that will help you create really powerful websites, even including e commerce with an extension like WooCommerce. Um, however, it also has a big community behind it, so it's always evolving, changing growing and you can actually go to their website right here it's completely open source it's free you're able to download it you can even see some of the websites that it powers that are out there so if you don't choose WordPress I would say the second most popular platform is going to be Joomla no Joomla has been around for a long time too however it is a far second to WordPress I personally or as a company we personally like Joomla more it seems to have more of a user intuitive back end and it keeps things a little bit easier for even our customers and clients um, however it is not the most popular and it's actually been kind of taking a downturn you can go to joomla.org and you can actually get the software yourself again this one is completely open source and free so from there i would say probably the third most important although even further less than joomla or even way further less than wordpress is going to be drupal now Drupal is more for the developer and you can go to their site as well. Um, there's a lot of different information on why to use Drupal and what makes Drupal um, such a powerful platform. So you, it's open source as well. It's free. There's a large community of developers and people using the platform. So you should never have any problems um, continuing to grow your site in the future with a platform such as Drupal. Now the last part I'm going to go into is Magento or actually more commonly I just want to go here to e-commerce. So as you can see there's a lot of different ways to uh, build an e-commerce site. So if you're going to be selling products on your website, a, a platform such as, well these are extensions. So Virtue Mart would be for Joomla, WooCommerce is going to be for WordPress. And then you have your Shopify, your Presta Shops, your Big Commerce, your Hika Shops and your Magento. And these are all really powerful platforms for powering websites that sell products. So if you are in the industry of selling, um, you might wanna pick a platform such as Shopify, PrestaShop, or alternatively Magento, which is a more robust, powerful e-commerce solution. So guys, just to kind of recap, I want to talk about the four main platforms that you're going to be considering to use for your next web build, which is going to be either WordPress, Joomla, Drupal, or an e-commerce system such as Magento. And what we would most likely recommend is that you stick with a platform WordPress. And the reason I say WordPress is not because I think it's the most intuitive, but because it's going to have the most developers out there if you need to make edits, changes, if you need to evolve your website. WordPress really gives you 100% of that flexibility, along with the fact that a majority of businesses now run their websites off of the WordPress CMS. So guys, with that being said, um, I hope you liked the video. If you did, give a like, give a subscribe. If you have any questions about which work or which CMS platform content management system you should be using for your business website, um, let us know in the comments or feel free to give us a call you get, or fill out our web proposal and we'll definitely get back to you. So take care guys, we'll catch you in the next video. Peace.